Hello and welcome. My name is Grelov and I am here to show you how you use basic NPCs with the Citizens plugin for Bucket. Now all of these commands can be used with any of the NPC types, so see this as a precursor to all the other tutorials because they will not be explained there. So let's get straight to it. The first thing you need to know is how to create an NPC and you do that by typing slash NPC create and then the name. So let's call this one basic NPC. Forward slash by default is replaced with a space. So now he will have the name basic NPC. No slash in it. You can change that behavior in the settings file. There we go and now we have a basic NPC. By default they will spawn where you were standing when you used the command. You cannot change that so you'll just have to move him around which I will show in a moment. Now let's say you made a typo in the name or you just don't like the name you can always rename him. Just type slash NPC name and let's call this one John Stewart. And there we go, now we have a John Stewart. In case you have several other NPCs, you have to select the NPC you need to modify before you can modify that NPC. By default, it uses any item. Just right-click the NPC, it should say you have it selected, and then you can use the commands on it. On my server, I changed it so that I need to use a book to select it. And there it says, I have selected the NPC. So while I have it selected, you can do various things. All Basically all the commands are done to the NPC you have selected. If I right click with the book by default, with the default settings, he will just talk to me. I've changed that here to be with an empty hand. He will randomize between the default messages Again, you can change these in the settings file. Or you can change them individually by doing slash npc set. Set replaces any of the other text with this one message. So now if I right click him, he says only that line. If you want to add more lines, it's slash npc add and then the new message. Now he has two lines, and again he will randomize between them. So let's say you want to move John Stewart. Let's say, well, I want him moved down here onto the deck. So I move down here, and then I just type slash npc move. And he gets moved here. The same thing can be done in the opposite. Uh, way that you can be moved to your selected NPC. Simply type slash NPC TP for teleport and now you're at his location. In case you've made an NPC just to test you might also want to know how to delete it. You do that by of course still you have to have a NPC selected but then you do slash NPC remove that will remove the current selected NPC or you can do slash remove all which will remove all NPCs. Now an NPC just like this can get kind of boring when you have a lot of them so you actually have the ability to add armor to the NPC as well as define what item should be in the NPC's hand. Now just as a requirement to that, you cannot give the NPC anything you do not have yourself. So I need to give those items to myself first. There we go, full diamond armor set and a diamond sword. So to give him something in his hand, it can be any item, a block, anything that a player can use in his hand, the NPC can use in his hand. So let's do NPC, item, and then the name or the ID of the item. 
in this case I'll just use the name diamond sword and now he has a diamond sword now we also want to give him the armor and that is done equally as easily so we do slash NPC and then the slot in this case we won't give him the helmet slot we give him the diamond helmet there we go and now for the torso NPC torso which is the chest and we give him the diamond chest plate and then of course the legs NPC legs diamond pants and the boots there we go he now has a full diamond armor now in, in case you're for example making city guards you might want to speed up the process of having a lot of NPCs that are fully decked out with armor and you can actually clone an NPC so let's clone Jon Stewart we'll just go over here and it's simple, you have to have the NPC selected and then you type NPC copy. And there we go, we now have two John Stewart's, which I think is enough. And so there are other uh, things you can do, of course. You can turn off the rotate when a player is near it, or the looking at the player. And you can also turn on that he will say his lines when you get close. So let me just show you that. To stop him from looking at the player, you just type slash NPC look at players and set it to false. By default, it's set to true. Again, it's something you can change in the settings file. And now I can walk around him and he does nothing. While this guy here, because he's a different NPC, he will still look at me. Now let's also say set his settings to talk when I get close to him. And you do that by typing slash NPC talk when close true. And now when I get close to him, there we go, he greets me. Again, it's just one of the random lines. While this guy here, I still have to right-click him. Of course, even though you've set him to talk when you move close, he will still talk when you right-click him. And of course, all of these commands can be viewed in-game via slash basic help. There are two pages. You can see we've gone over create, set, add, reset, uh, we didn't have because all it does is remove all the text you've defined for it and then let's say uh, page 2 and we have getting the ID and the owner owner of the NPC is basically the one who can change the NPC type and various other things and do that by typing slash NPC owner and it says that I'm the owner here and you can also get the ID NPC ID which is zero while if I select this one NPC ID says it's one you also get the ID when you select the NPC but in case that you've forgotten which NPC you have selected or you just Let's see, if I right click him once I get the ID, but if I already have him selected, I don't get it. So that way you can just use the NPC ID to get the ID. You can then use NPC select and then select a different, uh, different NPC. Now I've just selected him over there because that's the one with ID number one and I can move him. There we go. And of course, then we have NPC, remove all, and they're all gone. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this, and please watch the other tutorials if you need any help with those. Thanks for watching.